All right, welcome back to Teen and Reviews. I'm Miller. And I'm Tim. And before we get started today, Tim, you had something, you did something, didn't you? I couldn't I think of the words. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm officially licensed uh, real estate agent. Um, soon to be realtor after I finalize all that bullshit. But oh, can I say shit? Beep. It, it's our channel. Uh, we, we well, we're not monetized. For so. now, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, so we're working on that. One, one of these days I'll be able to call myself a realtor. But One step closer. We're getting there. Uh, what about you, Cameron? What have you been up to? I'm still at work. I'm just trying to transfer to a different department because the department I'm at right now isn't where I see myself long term. So. Yeah, well, we both got goals and uh, aspirations along with uh, we're growing both very, this channel. We're both very hungry and uh, we're going to be checking out a new review today. Yep. Uh, so tell us, Cameron, where are we reviewing today? We got the grand opening of Bandy's Barbecue. Bandy's! <laughs> Yeah. So we actually we actually found it by Facebook, and they said they were doing a grand opening. So, being what we are, we had to go check it out. And the Facebook advertisement got us. It did. The Facebook gods got us. Um, so, what'd you think about Bandy's? You know, you smell it way before you see it. Oh yeah, you you smell it. That aroma. A mile down the road, you know, you you just. You just, you can smell that barbecue anywhere. It, it's in a prime location, too. Like, the fact that you can smell it some, from so far out, and it's over by Topgolf on uh, Pawnee Drive, yeah. and everything else that's popping up right there. That's a could, hot spot. They couldn't yeah. have got a better location. No. I kind of miss uh, Republic. They had a lot of big shoes to fill, but uh, I think they did pretty good. Pretty, yeah. pretty good as far as the atmosphere and whatnot. You got a little uh, bar section up here. Um, you can sit down here. We got two celebrities today. <laughs> they don't know it, but they'll be famous. They'll be famous one day. Better better get this recorded and signed, and yeah. better hold on to this. We're gonna be famous one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. Um, um, but I mean, the staff is friendly as well. Uh, We've got a good staff. They they all look pretty young, but for the most part, they. Did what they're supposed to do. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a lot of people's first day on the job there. Uh, yeah. But no, it was, it was staff was they tried to be uh, pretty accommodating. Yeah. Um, we went for grand opening. You know, grand openings are always a mess. So. But for a grand opening, it did really well. It, it did pretty pretty good. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't have any mishaps. So no. We're we're doing good. And this is a uh, PC concept. Yeah. So and you can't really go wrong. They've been they've been doing some really good projects in the area. They I'm have, really yeah. thankful. They've uh, put a lot of work. Sidecar. I mean, I love Sidecar. And, and they're right down. Sidecar's literally right here. And that's another one so, of their concepts. Yeah. You know, we got um, man, all all those over there. In chalk. The, yeah, chalk. I mean, they're all they're all really good concepts that they have going on. Yeah. There, so they they put a lot of time and effort into these concepts. So they they did really good. Uh, you actually walk in. Obviously, it's a barbecue place, but when you walk up the stairs, uh, it's lined with signed guitars. Yeah, those guitars are pretty cool. I'm not even a, a guitar kind of guy, but I kind of want to get down <laughs> while I'm going up. Yeah, and it's at, <laughs> uh, it's it's another place for live music. If you want to go and have a good time, hang out. Yeah. Go on upstairs, and listen to live music. They got a live venue upstairs and downstairs. Um, the downstairs is more like a karaoke night setup. Yeah, though. it's pretty pretty chill. Yeah. They got TVs galore. They do. So if you want to watch the game or something like that, man, they got TVs outside. They got TVs inside. Um, they got garage doors that open up that kind of make it feel like a a bigger space because it yeah. it brings it into the outdoors. It, it has a good flow to the restaurant, especially when those garage doors are open. There's probably oh, it feels way bigger. Yeah, there's probably like 20 tables outside. Uh, there's four higher up tables. They have their own personal TV as well. Yeah, along so, with heaters um, and bug screens. So and that's fans. Gonna be, yeah, that's gonna really help in the winter time. Yeah, like they they put a lot of time, effort, and thought into it. Um, so, what'd you uh, what'd you think about your food? What'd you get, Cameron? Ooh. I got Maria tacos. 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 It was got good. Tacos. They got tacos at a burger place. No, it's a barbecue place. Oh, shit. And I got pulled pork. So, ha. Well, so. you never guess what I got. 
<laughs> What'd you get? I got the Cameron meal. They don't know what that means. Chicken and cheese. <laughs> he, it was yeah, legitimately, his... I got a skillet, and it was legitimately chicken and, and cheese. cheese. Yeah, no, nothing. How many times true. on this channel have I made fun of Cameron for ordering chicken and cheese? And I didn't. And I didn't have chicken. And I legitimately ordered chicken. And cheese. You did, yeah. Oh yeah. man, well you know. I'll never live that one down. Yeah, it's funny. But it was pretty good. Yeah. It was actually pretty good. I'm, I'm definitely going to go back for some ribs, but I, we did this kind of spare moment, and I already yeah. ate that day, so I was um, not feeling full-on rib barbecue. Right. And but it that, definitely filled me up. Hey, my tacos were small, but they're, they're filling. So I mean, They packed a punt. They do. They fill you up, and they keep you full for a while. So... Uh, what would you think of the food prices and drink prices? Um, well, the food prices are a little high, but it's a barbecue place. Typically, if you go to Swadley's mm -hmm. or any of the other Earl's, I mean, all barbecue places are, are, I wouldn't say expensive. I mean, this is no mahogany's, but, you know, they, they, you know, 15 to $20 is, is, is going to be your, your, mm -hmm. your meal right there. You don't look to get out under... Fifteen dollars a person. If you if you get out under fifteen dollars a person, you're eating off the kid menu. Yeah, you're, you you uh, you're like a Tweety Bird. You don't <laughs> have grilled cheese or something. But you don't you don't go here to try and you know pinch pinch pennies. Like this is definitely no. a you'd want to go out with a, your boys or your girl and just kind of have some barbecue, I mean, watch a movie, go upstairs, listen to music. So I mean, be a good good hangout spot. Oh, well, I was thinking about movies, but. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a good little venue to go chill out. Yeah. Some relaxation kind of day. Oh yeah, I mean, if you don't want to, if you want to get out and go somewhere else for a little bit, y'all know this little area over by Top Golf. There's couches are right around the yeah. corner and cornhole. So it's in a great location. Tell um, them, uh, so tell them about where we found their hidden uh, barbecue pit at Cameron. What? Their hidden barbecue pit. Oh, it's, it's, it's actually in the parking garage. So if you go under and just park back there, look to what would be the north, north. And it's right there. They barbecue all their stuff fresh daily. And man, oh man, underneath there, you, cool. it just smells so good. I mean, you're, you're going to be hungry. You're going to be hungry no matter what getting out yeah, of Yeah, it was, yeah. But everything Good looked smell. really clean. The bathrooms were clean. You know, I love my clean bathrooms. <laughs> uh, plenty of beers. I mean, there was beers galore. There was beers for days. Yeah. Did I say there was beers? Because there's beers. No, I, I don't think you've said it yet. Well, there's a lot of beers, uh, drinks. Man, their drink menu yeah. was pretty big. So, you yeah, got thirsty. like the sour crown or whatever i don't know what i got but it was good it was pretty pretty good i could it was, it was peach crown peach yeah because I, I as soon as i drank it i was like that's peach yeah i don't remember what i got it was the mm. um it was in a can it was, it was pretty decent it was something different but it, now if you go upstairs they don't have every single drink they have downstairs because they don't have like that little slushy machine thing yeah so, so just double check before, when you go upstairs um you'll want to verify i believe they're going to expand the menu upstairs eventually but yeah. when we went the the full menu was not available upstairs so you may want to verify that um if you do check them out yeah um what kind of x factor did you find here i would say just walking in and seeing the place the bar downstairs is a pretty nice bar with like eight TVs on it. Oh yeah, that's that's got Republic so. written all over. That place is it was good when they were there, and it's still good. I'm glad yeah. they kept it alive. I'm glad they kept all the beer taps. Like it's, I never got to go there. So I, I mean, missed that one over 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 down in Nichols Hills. So oh, okay. I can always check that place out. Yeah, um, might have to. What's what's your X factor? Location. Yep. You really can't go wrong over here, and you know they're they're building so much. Uh, it's you go for food, drinks, Top Golf, I Fly, Cabela's, Chalk. I mean, you can go on a little walk. They have the Red dessert. Pub, the Dog Park Bar. Yeah, thing. I mean, there's just so much going on over there. Yeah, I mean, you can't. It's just blowing up over there. You gotta you gotta check it out. Yeah, if if you're lucky enough to get in this little strip mall area, you'd be dumb to leave. Oh so. yeah, yeah. You're, you're in. You you're really in. have to jack some stuff up to 
Um, Even if you're not that good of a spot, I feel like this location would make you that much better. Yeah. Just because you're there. We didn't have a perfect experience. I would I would give them like a 3.8 out of out of five when we went, but that's just because grand opening. It's grand opening, and I'm just trying to give an honest review. And you know, yeah. hey, you know, if you get a 3.8 on your first day, that leaves you a lot of room to improve. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's it's already been a couple of weeks since then, so I'm sure they've already improved. I'm I'm gonna go back. Like, oh yeah. I mean, our not our waitress, but the lady that. Probably a, another hostess came, and she seemed like she was in charge a little bit. Yeah. Was very knowledgeable, very friendly, very engaging. Yeah. That's, She's been doing this for a little bit. Yeah, that's the only problem we really ran into was just the timeliness of, of service. But yeah. other than that, though, I mean, the, the people were great. It was just obviously a little flustered well, young, all over the place. Young, younger <laughs> people, yeah. But that's grand opening. We're just doing a, a sincere review. Yeah. Um, the manager that spoke to us, she was awesome. I uh, plan on trying to do some catering there soon. Got that information, so. Yeah. Um, and she didn't have to think about it. She could rattle it off. and. Yeah, no, she, no. She, she knew her stuff. So. She's a PC, PC concept veteran. Yeah. She, she's been to some other stores. Um, once they get all the regular staff trained, I mean, this place is going to be going. Yeah. So we're going to go back, check it out, do another yeah. review on this place, and it's going to be six out of five stars probably. Yeah. As far as barbecue places, I'm already sold. Oh, yeah, same here. But, yeah, so um, <laughs> watch this video, like, share, subscribe to it. Um, uh, and then we'll do your video next. Hey, catch you later. Thank you for watching, guys. Yep.